What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris Infinite and today I've got a more simple weapon request video. One I've meant to get to for the past year now. Uh, whoops. But either way, procrastination aside, today let's talk about why Generation Zero needs lever action rifles. Now, this doesn't go super deep. It isn't a rabbit hole of a video. Quite simply, I think GZ needs lever actions for two simple reasons. One, it would bring some unique weapons to use alongside our growing arsenal, adding an almost necessary addition of a new shotgun to the game. And two, we need powerful weapons in the game, and lever action rifles offer some great damage output most often in video games. So why not add some high-powered, more old-school weapons to the game. Today we'll look at two lever action rifles, one being the standard rifle and another being a lever action shotgun. For the sake of simplicity, in GZ a lever action rifle could use 44 Magnum and the shotgun could use the standard array of shotgun ammunition. The lever action would come with four rounds to its name and the shotgun would have five. The lower ammunition count is not only there because of realism, but also to balance the sheer power these weapons could offer. In Generation Zero, 44 Magnum is a component killer. With a hollow point variant, it's best suited for direct hits on components and has great damage carry through. The only limiting factor to 44 Magnum is that we only see it through the venue of a pistol. Now, it is the strongest sidearm in the game, but with sidearms playing less of a role in GZ and more of a novelty, adding a rifle to use this ammunition might get folks using this admittedly more skill testing type of ammo more often. Being a rifle with low ammunition capacity has its own fun challenging aspects as well. We get so used to LMGs and extended mags in Generation Zero, but I think having more weapons like the Vintovka, where it's a high power, low capacity weapon, would be a huge benefit to GZ. Even though adding a new rifle isn't entirely unique to GZ, I think the new use for 44 Magnum and semi-auto lever action style gunplay would bring its own uniqueness that would fill a small void in GZ's rifle meta. Now, speaking of voids in the meta for GZ, man oh man do we need more shotguns! I could probably make a whole video on that one someday, but for now, let's start off simple with the lever action shotgun. Initially chambered for black powder shotgun shells, we could forego the realism for the shotgun and just have it use the typical 12 gauge shotgun rounds, which would still open up a few options, with slugs for longer range and buckshot or bird for close quarters. Generation Zero absolutely does not have enough shotguns, and getting a new one that is high in damage would maybe open up shotguns a bit more in Generation Zero overall. It's not like shotguns suck or anything, but we just don't have any really high-powered shotguns befitting of taking down machines, I think. And that could easily be changed with the addition of even just one new shotgun. I think again, adding more high-powered, maybe slightly old-school weapons would be a cool thing for Generation Zero to have in its arsenal. And you don't get much more old-school than a lever-action shotgun. With the Vintovka covering a niche old-school Eastern European weapon, we could maybe see some sort of gun collector's update to the game, which brings new free guns like these for us to, well, you know, collect. So let me know what you think of lever actions in the comments down below. And it's kind of funny that such a simple video has taken me so long, but it also shows how busy Generation Zero was last year. Uh, that simple videos even like this one got left way to the wayside. We might have a few more simple gun ideas like this one as the year goes on. We'll see what happens. But for now, I want to say thank you for watching my video here, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.